Welcome back, everybody. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on today is something different. We're gonna try something a bit out of the ordinary for us. We're trying something new. We're doing something cool. We're playing with suits of armor. Today, we are going to hopefully not screw up and teach you how to make a suit of armor. We're gonna try and break this one down as well because we know that your attention spans aren't really so long and uh, we really can't blame It matches blame us, so we are just we can't like blame you. For that. So we're gonna make more digestible chunks. Do I have food in my teeth? Wait, wait, wait camera. <laughs> this is our ingredients. So, bam, ingredients right here. Do you want to talk us through the ingredients, Scotty? Yeah, we've got some plastic here. This is good for the environment. So this is what turtles love eating. So if you want to feed baby turtles, just go find some and give them some of this. It's all EVA foam. Yes. These are a bit harder to find, I've found. You can get them at Clark Robert, they're expensive. Sometimes Bunnings sells them. These you can get absolutely everywhere. They're interlocking tiles. The benefit of this stuff is it cuts really easy. If you heat it up with a heat gun, you can bend it. You can mold it. And it's reasonably cheap. So I think that one was 25 bucks, and these were 10 bucks for four. I've got a couple of those. So this is gonna be the core of the armor. It's quick, it's dirty, it's easy, and it looks good. This mm. suit behind us is part fiberglass, part foam. So it can look good if you do it right. This one is leather. That one is not. It's leather. Is it not leather? It is. It's leather. For your pleather. We also have hot glue sticks. Everyone needs hot glue gun. That's the other thing you need. Um, I wouldn't buy a Dewalt one because they're garbage. I actually really like <laughs> Ryobi. Dewalt. Reliability. Third ingredient, I've just got some bits of rope string stuff. I think you'll need like general bits to tie bits of armor together. And then the other one is elastic. You just need something fabric-y, I think, to like get pieces to stay together. In terms of tools, sharp Stanley knife. Don't have to go down the sharp Stanley knife. The other way is scissors. I uh, regret the Stanley knife decisions already. It's safe, safe. Okay, good, excellent. Scissors, you also need scissors. I bought these fancy ones because um, they looked really cool at Bunnings. I've got chalk because it's really hard to see if you draw on this with like texture and stuff. I'd like to use chalk. I got a heat gun. Um, you probably don't need that. I think a hot air gun, like a hairdryer, might be enough. I don't know. But ask mum's permission. Or dad use the hairdryer. Ask dad's permission before you use his hairdryer. Uh, but some way of heating it because if you heat it, you can shape it and that's cool too. Don't put it in the oven. Don't put it over the stove. What are you on about? You said heat it up. I'm yeah. just saying, don't put it in the oven, because the oh, oven would right. heat it up. Okay, don't put foam in the oven. This is our rough plan here. We're going to do a planning intro, then we're going to do like the base of our armor build, then we're going to do a zhuzh episode where we like zhuzh our armor, then we're going to do a weapons episode where we give weapons to our suits of armor, and then we're going to do a war. And Ben's going to do some wicked editing, and it's going to be like Star Wars. Right, Ben? <laughs> What's going on? The plan is, suits of armor, I think we need to lay out what we're doing. And what era are we building? Roman. <laughs> we have a question. Okay, so we're in like ancient Rome. Do we have to be? Let's explore some options before we just end up building Nubians, all right? Okay, Nubians didn't have armor, they had <laughs> okay, yeah. many horseback, but anyway. Okay, so if we go from Roman times... We're at Greece, Greece before Rome. Oh, okay, old times. <laughs> then we have like now, and now we have future. And then like medieval's in here. This is like where the TV was invented. When was ACT <laughs> declared like its own state? Back here. <laughs> and so you want to build oldie timey Romans? I don't, their armor's boring though. What do you mean boring? I don't want to be pigeonholed into you have to build a suit of Roman, arm, Roman armor. I just love Roman armor. Um, okay, so I... But you could do like a modern take on Roman armor. Like centurions in the, in the 23rd century. What the about punk. cyber Romans? I suppose that's kind of like space marines, isn't it? You want to do Romans? I like Roman, because okay. I'm just a Roman fan. But right. So let's do antiquities. Explain for the people that's that know antiquities. Antiquities, so like anything, I don't actually know, there's a, there's a time period. That's a classified, Ben's going to put it on the screen so that's I don't have to research it. Yeah, but there's like a time period, right? Is that BC? And tick, with, I'm not going to write that one down, because <laughs> I, I don't know how to spell that. Antiquities. 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 Let's go with antiquities. I feel like we need to have good guys and bad guys. Well, Rome was a good guy. Oh, okay. I'll be Caesar, you can be Pompey. I'm not doing Romans. You okay. want red or blue? I'll be... mm. uh, red's a Roman color, but blue's also my favorite color. I'll go red. You're red, so you're the bad guys. So Rome's the bad guys. I reckon... Better perspective. But I'm the good guy. Okay, what are your policies on uh, slavery as opposed to... Um, what are say yours? That? 
Well, we take people from their homes to make Rome a greater place. That's horrible. And then they can earn their freedom <laughs> after they pay their rent. But we charge them more rent than they earn, so we just keep them forever. Gee, okay. that's a political we topic. We really, really didn't need to go down. Cut that out. <laughs> Who else fought the Romans that aren't the Romans? The barbarians. Oh, I'm yeah. so vibing this. I really don't want to do any research, so I'm just going to be in the style of <laughs> the barbarian. Celts and the barbarians. I'm going to do a barbarian then. So you're the bad guys? I'm the good guys. How are you the good guys? Because we live free off the land. Yeah, we try to install order and class. And crucifixions. <laughs> <Just out there>. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, where do I sign? You sound like a good guy. Okay, so you're doing a Roman dude and I'm doing a barbarian. So, if that's what we're doing, I think we figured it out. This is our planning session. That's our first P, if everyone remembers. P, planning. No, planning. proper planning. That's the second P. The second P is planning. We did our planning. It's I'm a barbarian, that's... Scotty's Rome. He doesn't even have a circle around here. Hey, 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 excuse me. There you go, I got a line. Okay, there we go. All right, now <laughs> Scotty's done. There is our plan. Then we build some armor, we zhuzh the armor, we build some weapons, and then we have a war where the Roman civilization falters. Or we crucify Owen. And well, we're the two best friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's do some planning. How do you draw a suit of armor? What does a barbarian wear? Well, I think Nothing, barbarian... that's why we try to give him Roman I reckon, clothing. I love the barbarian or the gladiator look. I reckon gladiator, actually. Oh, I'm vibing gladiator more. I love that. Ah, welcome to Rome. Fantastic. You're going from barbarian to Rome as a gladiator. No, I'm going to stick barbarian. Yep. Stay in barbarian. Okay. okay. It's one big pauldron that's like strapped to your torso. And then a cool helmet. You've got to have a cool helmet if you're a madman. Maxman. Mad Maxman. Oh, that can be my zhuzh face. I can fit her up. I do like that. I can get furry. Can get... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why did we call you? Because you're furries. <laughs> yeah. You enjoy that. For people who don't know what that is, don't, don't. Google it. <laughs> like most times I'm an advocate for having Google, it's not worth it, guys. Do so, you want to talk us through what you're doing there, Scotty? Yes, yeah, so I got torso, so I got a layered torso to allow movement and all kinds of um, walking around. I'm not sure I'm going to zhuzh this a bit, but we'll see how we go. Guys. This can be made out of like bones. Yes, now we're thinking. Now we're thinking. Big skull pauldron. This is gonna be super kid friendly. <laughs> and then I reckon like almost like cobwebby looking armor. I like asymmetry in my armor now. We're going with a bit of asymmetry. Does that look too heavy then? I feel like this armor's then gonna match. When I think about wearing it. I like that. Horned helmet. Yes. Okay. Horns on the helmet. If that's a head, you're just getting the shape of the head down. That's a really ugly looking head. I hope that's not what my head looks like. Horns. One big horn in the middle. <laughs> I could do deer antlers. <laughs> no, we hate deers. <laughs> <laughs> the deer antlers would look sick. Maybe I do. How do you build a deer antlers out of foam though? Oh, that's gonna be hard. You see, he's going for, and his is gonna look really cool if it's done, all right? I'm, I'm going guy. for practicality the guys always have cool and armor. movement. Oh, you're the good guy. You've got the skull on your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, so now who is the good guy? I am. You, you decide. I am keeping freedom with the free peoples. He's trying to impose crucifixions on us. This semantics. <laughs> okay, back to the suit of armor at hand. So this heart side is all armored, and then this side is like lightly armored, so I can move quick and decapitate as many Romans as possible before they crucify me. All right. So, See, he knows crucifixion is inevitable. That's the thing. I don't plan. I don't plan on being decapitated. You don't have to plan on. It. Nobody plans on being decapitated. It just happens. Uh, only a leopard skin. Enjoy your deer skin. You're a Peasant. Man. Great empire. Yeah, I was in. Except for the crucifixions. Well, how are you supposed to keep people in line? How's your plan going, Scotty? Oh, you nearly there? Bad. Yeah, I reckon. I reckon I'm, I reckon I'm making some progress here. Like that. And then it's got to look how angry, so lots of sharp angles, because I'm a good guy and all good guys are angry. Deer horns, that looks sick. Deer horns, giant skull. This bit here is all going to be like fur. So he's got like fur underneath his armor. So I'm, I reckon I'll just find like, you know those hell plush toilet mats that sit around the toilets that look like fur? Yeah. I reckon I can get one for like five bucks. I'll just chop that up and use that. That's how I'm going to get my zhuzh over the line for cheap. I'm just gonna drape myself in purple. Give us a summary, Scotty. Are you, are you happy with your planning stage? So far, I'm happy with my planning stage. And I just like skills. how your drawing is awesome and mine's just like, okay, here it's we go. It's fine, what's wrong with that? It's, it's That's fine. That's good, man. Exactly. 
I got, like, Mine's very uh, scribbly. A kitchen table as a shield. This is the end of our planning section. Scotty, run Chase, us through. Chase sides, because you're that oh, side. Yeah, okay. side. Planning really section. So what we've done is basically Owen's got his drawing going on. Bye. He's writing upside down. I'm doing a Legionnaire's armor, you know? Just a standard, like, run of the mill, you know? They've finally got conscription up and running. The government's paying you to work in the army. So I get my armor, I get my shield, and I'm going to go decapitate some barbarians. Hopefully crucify a few along the way. You know, maybe bring a few into my slave camp. My god. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try and talk to these guys with a nice tone of voice while holding a shield and a sword and a spear. Good old Roman diplomacy, you know? Have some freedom. <laughs> Have some freedom, it's on the end of my spear. <coughs> I'm gonna make a barbarian horde man. He's keeping the free people free. He's fighting against the violent oppressors that are trying to subjugate and take away our liberties. Scotty, how dare you? Hail Join Caesar. us in the next episode for the helmet build. Helmets. We're going to build the helmets. We're starting with the head. We're going to do the heads. That's what Owen's going to lose when I just... Whoosh. Done. All right, lock it in. Let's <laughs> get moving. One, two, three, four.